Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Amy and I am a third year law student if you guys are new here. So today is a very, very exciting day. So I don't know if you guys are new here and you won't have any idea what I'm talking about, but if you have watched my videos before, I ordered a new car about four and a half months ago. And I don't know if anybody's aware of like the current like microchip issue um, and all of the like people's access to microchips and there's basically no new cars, no used cars, no nothing. So I ordered my car and then they were like, well, it's currently stuck in, well, it wasn't even in production yet, but it was like on the production line. And they were like, well, we don't have any chips, so we can't build your car. And then I thought that it was going to be about February before I got it, um, because that's what they had like projected. Like that's what um, the date showed like on their on their like systems and stuff. So yes, um, so it is here. It I basically I got um, I got an email like two weeks ago that said that it'd been built. So we have like a person at. Um, at the garage. I don't know, I'm not gonna tell you what it is yet. You'll probably be able to see from the thumbnail because I'll definitely put a picture of it in the thumbnail, but like, we're just gonna keep some anticipation. So yeah, we've like the person at the garage that we're speaking to um, emailed me and they were like, it's been built and I was like, oh my God. And then she sent me an email yesterday with a video of it. Um, so it's brand new, I'm so excited, so excited. So we pick it up today, um, but obviously it's, the morning and I've got a lot of work to do today also so we're gonna get cracking and I'm gonna get as much as I can done before I go because I know that I'm probably gonna get really excited in the afternoon and not do a huge amount so yeah I'm gonna try and get as much done as I can this morning so it's 8 12 I have been for a walk with one of my friends so we did 3.8 a 3.18k done 5,000 steps this morning so far and all I'm going to do now is make some breakfast and then first on my list is I need to tidy my room because it's a mess and it's giving me anxiety so I'm going to clean that um, I just had like loads of clothes I need to put away and I just need to do that so that should take me like half an hour so once I've made breakfast um, I'll do that and then yeah we'll get a crack <laughs> Breakfast of champs. Yum. Okay, guys, so we are now upstairs and I wrote my to do list last night, so I'm going to show you guys what is on it. Um, so here we go. So walk with Dion, um, we left at 6.45 and then I tidied my room, so that's done. And then I got to reread my diaries. So basically as part of my degree, I'm in a thing called a law clinic, which is essentially a rare read help on like real life cases and um, do stuff like that. So. Um, we, as part of that, we have to write reflective diaries on like, different things that we do in the clinic and like our experiences and like how it made us feel and all of this fun stuff. So I have, um, I have three that I have to submit on Monday. So it is Thursday today, isn't it? Yeah, it's Thursday today. And 
yeah i need to basically i'm just getting them done because they're all written i just need to like reread them and also how cool is this thing it's literally like uh it's mad so i need to reread them and make sure they're like all fine and then submit them today just to get them out of the way so they are worth 50 percent of my grade for my class called ethics and justice so that is um, quite substantial actually. So I need to make sure that I take time to read through them properly because we submitted them last year, but they didn't have anything to do with their grade. So I need to make sure I'm not just like submitting them and I want to actually make sure that they're like good quality and um, hopefully they give me a good grade. So yeah, I'm gonna do that just now. Um, and then, yeah it'll nearly be car time so we're going at like lunchtime i think um because dad obviously has to take me mum is working today which is sad but i'm gonna take the car around to visit mum at work because it's not far so then she gets to see it too because obviously she's working and she really wanted to come and see me get it but she's got a job my mum's a vaccinator and works for the nhs and she is an angel so yeah, I'm going to take it through to see mum and then, yeah, who knows what else we're going to get up to. So let's do these dire days ASAP. Are you a little monster? He's bored. Lexi's fed up of him. <laughs> Watch, you'll follow me with this. Okay, so I've come downstairs to babysit. Oh, she's gone upstairs. I've come downstairs to babysit the dogs. And Leo is very, very hyper. So normally when he comes around, I think Don walks him in the morning. Um, but I don't think either he's just full of beans or she didn't manage to take him out before she went to work. So he's absolutely full of energy. He's actually so funny. So Lexi's getting a bit upset. <laughs> so she's gone upstairs to go and visit dad. Um, and basically I've submitted my diaries. So they're done. And now what I'm going to do is for my next up is my ethics assignment. Um, so... I need to go and do some like pretty extensive amounts of reading for that. So what I'm gonna do is read the examples. Um, so there's like three or four examples of what to do on my place. So I think I'm just gonna read them and see what they're about. So then I've got a bit of a better understanding of what I'm supposed to be writing. So where are we? Ethics and justice. And then we're gonna go and read these wee things. So. Okay, so I got ready because I'm picking up my first ever car. So I want to look cute, I feel. Um, so yeah, I made a green smoothie just to fuel, to fuel the excitement. Um, so we need to drop this wee guy off on the way. Oh yeah, so ethics. So I read, I read through the three and I actually think I'm going to be fine. Um, I was like getting a bit concerned about it and I read through the three examples and I actually feel a lot better. So what I'm going to do is um, read, I've got basically a full day of ethics tomorrow. So I'm basically going to read um, all of the sources, like all of the literature, which is like a lot. So probably not all of it, but like make a start. 
and then make like a comprehensive plan over the weekend um we're away on sunday because it's my granddad's 80th birthday so we're going through to st andrews and um, to go out for dinner with basically my whole family on mum's side so we're doing that so that'll be a nice break and then next week is basically going to be like full-scale writing i think so I'm going to try and get it done by the end of next week. And then that means that I've got enough time to start for intellectual property because the question comes out on Monday. Oh, it's a whole thing. So she told us yesterday in our tutorial that they're bringing out the intellectual property one early. So I have basically, I've written like a plan of how many days I get to spend on each thing and then when I need to start the new ones because all of my deadlines are very stacked for the next basically like three weeks. So until my exam is done, basically, we're stacked. So yeah, I need to keep on top of it and make sure I'm not going over my times just so I have enough time to do everything. <sighs> so yeah, that's the plan. So I'm just waiting on dad coming off the phone. Then we're picking up Callum because he's coming too. And then we're gonna go and pick up my car. Nice car. I don't know. <laughs> So we are back now. Um, it is raining, so I don't want to show you like the whole car right now. But we're just making a curry for lunch, and then I will take you on a full car tour. Callum's returning with talents in a minute. But yeah, I'm so excited. Hello, everyone. So it's almost been like a good three weeks. I think since I got my car um, and I have been meaning and meaning and meaning to film this section of it to like show you guys around my car and like show you it full stop because I fully literally didn't show you anything other than it kind of like coming off the thing so I'm gonna go into a little bit more detail like tell you about it tell you like the whole situation that happened and yeah just like give you a little tour so I'm currently waiting um on going to my nail appointment so i'm like sitting in a literal car park right now because it's nine o'clock and my nail appointment's at half past nine because um emma was running a little bit late so yeah we're just gonna do it now because i just thought about it and i was like do you know what let's use this time to actually just do it so we are in my car and i got a audi a1 and i got a black edition so it's basically the black edition so it's an, an s line which is like this the mode i'm pretty sure and then the black edition is the next level but it's literally just like aesthetic things that they add on so like in the black edition you get the flat bottom steering wheel um you get the windows are tinted your alloys are bigger and they basically like the trim of the car all of the like accents are black so like my wing mirrors are black i have a black roof um so just like little things that are just like literally purely aesthetic but i really like them um so it is what else do you need to know so basically what happened is I ordered my car in like late July, early August, because I was like, hmm, like I want a car for going back to uni. So I should probably, I should probably like get my finger out and actually like go and speak to Audi. So we went and basically, I don't know if you guys will be aware, but like there was a massive microchip shortage like across the entire world like following the pandemic and brexit made it even worse so they basically couldn't get any microchips into the cars and the tech on like the newer ones so like in here this is like all it's not 
um it's not like actual dials it's all just like a digital screen and then it almost has like a little ipad thing here so you can like go on apple carplay and it basically like mirrors your phone so it'll like mirror my like my whatsapp my spotify my maps like everything so i think there was like a few in here that needed to be done um and they couldn't get them so it took well i got my car like three weeks ago so mid november and I ordered it in July. So we basically, they were like, we don't know when it's coming. We don't know when it's coming. It's going to be months. And then they basically emailed me one day and they were like, it's going to be, the build week is end of January. So it's going to be like March before you get it. And I was like, oh my God. And like, obviously it's not the end of the world. Like I had access to a car anyway. So I was in a very, very fortunate position. But like, I was just so excited. And it was literally just like getting crushed over and over and over because I would get so excited and I thought it was going to come and then it wouldn't. And then it would just be delayed and delayed. So like, it was, it was really frustrating, but I just kind of had to be like, it'll come when it'll come and I just need to suck it up. So I did that. And then I got an email maybe like two days after that one. And Rebecca was like, it's been built and I was like oh my god and I was in the library and I phoned dad and I was like it's been built so then what had to happen is they shipped it um the A1's come from Barcelona I think um and then they get shipped over in shipping containers as opposed to on like trucks um so they basically then couldn't track them because they can track the, tr the trucks but they can't track the boat uh, track the boats um so they were then like well now we don't know how long it's going to take either because we can't track the boat so we don't know whether it's on a shipping container or it's waiting to get put on a boat or so that was all a situation and then I got an email from Rebecca and she sent me a video of it and she was like it's here and I was like oh my god so then cue the next day when you guys watched me go and pick it up and it was literally the most exciting day ever like it was just so fun and it was so like just being able to go and be like I've actually done that and like I've worked hard to be able to get that it like it was just the coolest thing ever and obviously like I would never be able to do anything any of the things I do without you guys so just a massive thank you to every single person who supports me and makes me being able to do this job possible because honestly you guys are the best things ever and it's such a blessing so let me ha show you like a little bit around okay so this is it when you come in so you got this like virtual cockpit thing which is so cool um i just have like a i have some wipes um uh uh what is that uh hand sanitizer and like a thingy wrap like a duster thing then i just have some mess in here like i just keep my gym my gym card in there and my sunglasses and then i just put them in there and then my mask is in there so then i have these two cute little things a little pocket where i've got some gum some lip balm and a hand sanitizer and then over there i have a little um air freshener and some de-icer and then the back is low-key quite big to be honest with you i've had five people in it and they were like it's fine honestly i don't remember how much i filmed of the start so if this is like the worst video you've ever seen in your whole life i apologize but i just wanted to get it out because i feel like it's a cool video for me to remember and like commemorate me getting my own car which is like the most exciting thing ever to me um so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this if you did please let me know um yeah so I'll give you a little tour of the outside and you can see that before this clip. And then I will see you guys in my next video. Please be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Drop me a comment in the comments. I reply to literally every single comment because you guys are the best and so sweet. So I always make sure to reply to literally every single comment. Um, give it a, a thumbs up. It helps me reach other people who might not have found my videos yet. So yeah, thank you so much. I love you all and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.